Hey, I'm Ilica and I work as full-time senior concept artist. I draw and paint fantasy themed illustrations and for the length of this video I'll be opening the package that Huion sent me to review of their Canvas Pro 24 4K, um, after which I'll be talking about how it feels to work on it and you can watch sped up video of me making this Angry Dragon Mother that I drew here uh, on this screen. If you have problems pronouncing my name, I also go as Millicraft PSD on my socials and uh, for which links you can find down below. Also, uh, you can find exact screen I'm reviewing on link too. Alright, the box is heavy and got almost 10 kilograms and tablet itself is 5.5 kilograms, so I'm trying to be careful here. With the screen also comes additional box that contains pen stand with tips, pen, power adapter, another glove for the collection, cleaning cloth, warranty card and manual, HDMI cable, USB cables, tape A and tape C, charging cable, K-Dial mini which you can charge on its own USB and use as Bluetooth device with your customized shortcuts, pen is battery free with nice weight to it and rubber grip standard toe buttons, pen holder as a donut, opening inside it holds 5 normal pen nibs and 5 felt ones which I prefer more. Now for size and visual comparison I pulled up all my previous graphic tablet that I still own. First ever I had Intuos S, Huion pen tablet that is similar to the vacuum Intuos Pro L next to it, XP pen deco Samsung Galaxy Book that is also a laptop rather than just screen tablet and the newest arrival Huion Canvas 24 4K. Now this is how it looks on my work desk. Don't look at the cables please. This screen tablet didn't come with a stand though. Uh, so if you are ordering from their site be sure to pick one of their few options. Uh, they, they are not that expensive. Or if you have husband you can just urge him on Saturday evening to build you one in a less than an hour in his workshop so you can start drawing at optimal angle that same day uh, when you received your canvas. He built me this wooden one uh, that's quite sturdy and in the back there is uh, metal screws that I can uh, adjust the height and the angle. Also just in case if I move this uh, screen weirdly we added these simple wall hooks uh, to hold it in place so it won't slide down. And I can also put my keyboard on the left side so just the left part of the keyboard is there for my shortcuts uh, so I can work in front of me. Alright now the video will play in the back. Uh, this is sped up video like 50 times and it took a lot of time to render but if you want longer version let me know I will try to render it again maybe four times the speed so it's much more easier to follow and we can upload it to Gumroad or our station store. I'm gonna talk now about my experience with the tablet how it feels when working on it and some parts I had um, trouble with or some parts I liked. Uh, for the K-Dial Mini I gave it a shot um, it's easy to customize letters and combinations you want on which, uh, which dial which you can change um, controls, put any keys you want. But I'm someone who uh, learned how to draw on the keyboard and simple pen. So when I try to learn something new like this, I just come to fr frustration and anger. So I quickly gave it up and just continue on my keyboard because it's much faster for me and much more convenient. Something that I learned. I put my keyboard under the tablet and only left part is out so I use it with my arm. I also feared for this same reason I will have a hard time getting used to the screen. Um, again, I draw for many years on pen tablets. I tried two times to start working more on the screen and it, it didn't we didn't get along that much. So for this canvas uh, what I did is I attached it to the computer and I started also working on it and when I'm finished with my studio work I come back in the evening or over the weekend and continue working on this piece. Uh, 
uh, and in a few days to my surprise uh, it became comfortable enough and it felt like kid playing with new toy uh, specifically on this painting i spent around 16 hours of real time uh, painting and what i wanted to say uh, is that i got used nicely to using screen tablet this is not my first Huyen tablet, I had Inspiroi for around 2 years, it was really affordable at the time and it worked very nicely, it got nice uh, working area, it's similar to Vacuum Intuos. After using it for 2 years the pen gave out so I had to change it in a matter of day, one day I had uh, because I needed to finish the project. For the specification of this screen tablet, uh, I won't read them out, you have them on the site, the link is in the description of this video they are impressive a bunch of colors a really big range of colors and contrast a pen pressure got really big range you can see how many pressure levers there is you can read it all by yourself what i was interested in here is more how i gonna feel the transition from the pen tablet and looking at the monitor to the screen tablet and drawing directly on it and i'm going to talk a bit about that more Screen feels really nice with the felt tip. There is just enough friction on, on the screen, on the glass, and just enough those scratchy noise to feel a bit traditional. So it's not glossy, it doesn't move too far. With, like it would be if it had plastic foil and plastic nib, it wouldn't feel natural. But like this with a bit of edged glass and a felt nib, it, it sounds and feel really nice. Only problem I had uh, with my visuals of the monitor was because I'm so close now. Uh, as any screen, you can see a bit of noise from pixels. And to me, it appeared a bit blurry and fuzzy, especially in bright surfaces. When I'm about to texture and polish nicely uh, some bright surfaces, I, I couldn't get, uh, not get bothered by this uh, noise. It's, as I said, it's on any screen, but now I'm, I'm too close. Uh, and it bothers me a bit. That's the only thing uh, I found uh, problematic about this. Uh, for the size of the screen, this is 24 inch. So it's like standard monitor you would have on arm further away from you. And it takes a lot of space on your desk, yes. For this reason, I have angular desk and I have space enough for everything. Even though when I want to play games or I want to type, I would need to move this whole screen on the left or to move my monitors even further and then move the screen too. So it's a bit robust if you want to move your stuff around the desk or I could just put it fixed on my left side and then have everything out of the right. My thing is I wanted to have all three um, monitors in front of me. The screen is connected with three cables. You have HDMI cable or display port, whichever port you have free on your graphic cards. I used display port because um, I, my monitor already have only uh, HDMI so I had to combine like that. The second cable is charging cable and the third you need USB to connect to your PC uh, so the tablet can work. So this is a three table that's gonna hang over your table if you want to move it every day there is no point sticking them together so they look nice. So you'll have cables hanging over the desk. In general I think this is really nice upgrade for people who have smaller screen tablets or want to like 13 inch or want to jump from pen tablet and try screen tablet. This is nice size, uh, nice resolution and nice to draw with I think. If I get too used to it I think other people could too because uh, I, I'm stubborn when it comes learning something new that's already worked perfectly. When I compare to my uh, Dell monitor that's 27 inch uh, 4K and this 24 that's also 4K, the colors look pr pretty similar. I did a bit of uh, changing and settings in NVIDIA color panel. What I have problem is um, changing those OSD controls on the monitor you can uh, have when you hard press the turn on button. If you hold it, it will show a small menu and in theory you would change their sharpness, brightness, color and such. I had most of them grayed out and I can only choose few options. So I wanted to change sharpness and I couldn't do that. So I had to play with NVIDIA control panel uh, 
settings to to see how much I can push colors or gamma and contrast brightness stuff like that brightness I could change and uh, color profile but I did went uh, extra step and I did new color profile for this display and I did use that oh and with the pen I think maybe my fingers are a bit too small I kept pressing the bottom uh, button of the pen uh, and I did it frequently so I went to Huion settings and I turned that button off I don't use it anyway I just need one button on the pen and that's top one for the right click and I use right, uh, that as right click on any given program overall I'm satisfied with how this screen performs um, I was afraid that my learning curve will take much longer because I had at the beginning I had only weekend to get used to it on the work I needed to, to work for eight hours so I was afraid that I will not manage to learn it that fast but I started right away I think uh, so that was good and also feeling of drawing is nice when it's one-to-one -one, um, sketch meaning you draw you see it underneath the parallax is small it's too good maybe because it goes right under your pen and I did cheat a bit when I did calibration of the screen I did move it bit on the left so I can see where my lines originate this is not really a problem this is my fault what I had my sketching brush I always start with that same brush I didn't know it was off-centered and I thought oh I cannot calibrate this screen and it drives me crazy for a minute there and then I realized oh this is brush's fault this tip is not centered so if I press caps lock then I got precision mode and then I would see, oh, this is on center, is my brush that it's at fault. Okay, so I will now stop talking and let you watch the rest of the video. If you did not mute me already for my broken English, I salute you. Don't let me know if you want the full length. My other PC is currently rendering uh, this, what you're looking now. It's struggling a bit because I did record it in 4K. And now it's converting it to lower resolution. I can upload it to Gamra Denar station. Also check the links below to the screen on Huion's site. And if you wish, you can follow me on my socials. Thank you.
Oh, and if you got here by the end, here is a little burb of all Huion tablet I got uh, for some reason she's attacking the pen.